Hey guys, so today I'll be going over twosome using the hash table method. So in twosome, you're given an array and you're supposed to find the index of two unique elements that add up to a given target number. And essentially you could do this the brute force way, which is would be to essentially check every single possible combination of numbers and then see which two numbers add up to the target number. This is very inefficient and has a runtime of n squared. So we can do a lot better than that using a concept called complement. So what a complement is, is if I write this equation a plus b equals nine, and a is equal to the current index that you're on, in our case it's two right now, we have two plus b equals nine. So b would be our complement. It's also the value that you need to make this equation true. And we'll see how the complement comes into play in a second. But first, we have to create a hash table representation of the nums array. So the reason why we create a hash table is because we want to take advantage of the constant lookup time, as opposed to if we were to use an array or a list of tuples, that would be a linear lookup time. So we would create a hash table with the key being current element and the value being the index of that element and we're storing the index because that's what the question is asking to return and so essentially if we were to loop through here we would have 2 7 11 and then 15 and then the index values would be 0 1 2 and 3 and then now you would loop through the nums array again so we start at the first index 2 and then we calculate the complement so the complement would be, in our case, b here. So then b would be equal to seven. And then we would check to see if seven is in our hash table. And if it is, you return the index of the current element, which is zero, and the index of the complement, which in our case would be one. So now I'm gonna go through an even better solution for this. We can actually do this in one pass. And I have the code translated over here to the right. If I were to walk through this code, we would start at the first index, which is two. And then we would calculate the complement of that, which is seven. And if the complement is not in the hash table, then we would add two to the hash table. And if it is, then we found our answer. So let's just add two and then zero to the hash table. And then for our second iteration, we have seven. And then the complement of seven is two. So then we check to see if two is in the hash table. And in our case, it is. And that means that we found our answer. In which case, we would return the value of the hash table and the index that we're currently on. So which is basically we have that here and our value in the hash table is zero and the index that we're currently on is one so that is what you return and that is your answer and this solution has an o of n runtime as well as time complexity thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one